In this video, I'm going to go over manual inventory valuation in Odoo V15. So we have our, our inventory valuation set as manual on our all product category. Essentially what this means is our deliveries and receipts of products won't directly affect our accounting books. So if we go into accounting and we go to our balance sheet, you see our current stock valuation is $1,000. And if we go into our inventory and we go to reporting inventory valuation, you'll see our current stock is $1,500. And that's because since the period in which we counted our inventory last, our value was 1,000 and we've made a purchase for products and the total of our inventory currently is $1,500. So periodically when we adjust our inventory on our balance sheet, we need to create a manual journal entry to put all these items in the correct account. So what we're gonna do here is first, let's look at a vendor bill that we use to pay for some goods. So we've bought $500 worth of inventory that was going into our expenses account. You may have this as a different account, maybe products, um, product expenses, depending on how you have your charter account set up. And if we go into our profit and loss statement, currently we just have that 500 of inventory that we've purchased. What we're gonna do now is just sell one of our products. We'll say customer one. Let's sell product two, which sells for $100 and we purchase it for 50. So we'll confirm, deliver our goods. Remember these do not affect our accounting because we are in manual inventory valuation. So we'll create this invoice confirm and we'll just register payment and now if we go into accounting reports profit and loss we'll see that we made $100 in profit with expense account of 500 um, netting us a negative $400 but of course this is not an actual expense we want to look at our income so we need to move our expense expenses for our products into our cost of revenue and the remaining amount into our inventory valuation. So the first thing we want to do is look at our balance sheet one more time. We see our starting valuation is 1000 and our ending we can get from inventory reports inventory valuation which is 1450. And before we actually do this adjustment, we probably want to do a physical inventory count. We can do this by going to operations, inventory adjustments, make sure we have our accounts right and make sure our stock valuation is correct. So it's 1450 right now. We'll assume that is correct. We're going to go into accounting. We're going to create a new manual journal entry. And the first thing we want to do is get our stock valuation account. We're going to get our closing balance and we're going to debit that account. So it's $1,450. We're going to get our cost of goods sold. Well, before we do that, let's actually add our expense account. And we know we spent $500 on inventory. Oops, it should be $500. And we know that our Starting inventory valuation or stock valuation was 1000. That leaves us with our cost of goods that is automatically going to be calculated in our next line, which is $50. So we'll move this into our cost of goods. Now we have a balanced journal entry that we can post. And now if we come and take a look at our balance sheet, we see our stock valuation is correct at 1450. That matches up with our stock valuation in reporting inventory valuation at $1,450. If we go to our profit and loss statement, you'll see our operating income, that $100 sale, cost of revenue of $50, and nothing in that expense account. So that is how 
manual inventory valuation works in Odoo v15.